Dara Hyland. She plays Haley on ABC's Modern Family. She says violence in her intimate relationship motivated her to file a restraining order against her ex-boyfriend, Matt Prokop. Now, in court, the documents, the court documents say Sarah alleges that he choked her during a fight. She says his, quote, his grip was so tight that I could not breathe or speak. I was scared and in fear for my life. She also claims Prokop, quote, relentlessly bombarded me with vile, threatening, and emotionally disturbing texts and voicemails, including his own suicide threats. Representatives for Prokop, ha Prokop have not responded to our request for comment. Sam, Sarah Highland says her ex-boyfriend also got some sort of treatment, but I couldn't figure out what they meant by that. Can yes. you tell me? Yes, 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 yes. So she claims that he entered a rehab facility back in August. What does that he, mean? What does that but, mean? I don't know. I just, here's what I know. I know that he, he was, he left September 21st, which was this past Sunday. Also, according to Sarah Highland, the facility director advised her to get a restraining order against him, her ex-boyfriend, because of his current mental state and his attitude towards her. So my question to you, Dr. Drew in the panel, if someone is at risk to the point where this medical director is is advising her to get a restraining order, should he not yeah. be released? Can they not put a hold on him if he's threatening someone? Well, let me ask our legal person, of course, Mark, that. And, and, and also people have been tweeting us saying that restraining orders aren't worth the paper they're written on. And sometimes, it, I know it's the case, certain kinds of obsessive stalkers get worse when you file a restraining order. Wow, that's like seven issues all in one. Okay, <laughs> yeah, first, I'm sorry. the rehab cannot hold him, as Dr. Drew right. knows. You know, you that's go right. for rehab, it's there, it's therapeutic, and you leave. An interesting issue is how someone's narking him out within the rehab program and yeah. saying what he's saying, but that's a whole other issue. Secondly, that's a, the that's restraining hippo, order hippo doesn't stop someone. Exactly, I don't know how that happened. Uh, secondly, I, the restraining order doesn't stop someone from having contact, but if they do have contact, you don't have to wait until a crime occurs. Merely having any contact, telephonically, directly, indirectly, could immediately lead to his arrest. That's why they have the paper. And yes, some could get more angry as a result. Most don't. Most realize, yeah. holy cow, they took the next step. Now I need to back off.